You must believe that you will become great. I'm sensitive to discussing tangible things because trading is mostly about skill development and discipline. Obviously, this is a very good sentence from Mike Bellafury and his book One Good Trade, which I highly recommend everybody to read. And very obviously, today our topic is discipline. So we are coming right back. Stay tuned. Very good book, very good book. Highly recommending everybody watching this video to get this book and read it. Uh, it really will change your trading to the better. Okay, if you at least if you apply the principles that you learn from this book. So why do I want to talk about discipline and why do I think this is one of the most important things when it comes to trading? Well, first of all, because without discipline, you won't be able to follow your system to the T, right? Because you will be all around the place. You will take long positions, short positions, just wander and have a trading by a feeling when you should actually trade by strict rules. And I'll come to that a little bit later. And it's easy to be undisciplined and trade big size and then risk big when you have a smaller account. But when it comes to a big boys game, like when you're trading and managing some kind of a money, then there is no place for making your rookie mistakes. You have to stick to your trading rules. You have to stick to your trading plan. And to tell you more and to make you understand the principle behind staying disciplined and following your trading plan, let's get to the charts and let me explain you what I mean, okay? Because sometimes it's really hard to believe in a plan. And sometimes watching profits evaporating in front of your eyes because you're sticking to your plan is really one of the hardest things you'll ever need to do. So let's get to the charts and let me show you what do I mean. All right guys, so we are in front of our charts and in front of you, you can see the USD CAD hour one time frame and I'm gonna show you the trade that I took live. So before we start, I wanna tell you something about uh, risk management and having a discipline to stay with the risk management when you're beginning and when, you, when you're planning ahead. So what I mean by this is I'm using the same risk management settings that I'm planning to use when my account will be bigger. I'm trading a small live account of 2000 euros, but, but I'm acting like it's a big account. I'm comfortable with this risk settings because I know that my drawdowns will not be bigger than 6%. Now 6% drawdown on 2000 euros account is 120 euros, not a big chunk of money, right? But Imagine me managing two hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand euros. Uh, Six percent drawdown would be twelve thousand euros. That's the average salary, yearly sal salary, net salary in a country where I live. And that's a quite sum of money, and this is not as big as if I were comfortable with twenty percent drawdown. And imagine like 20% drawdown on a 2,000 euros is not a big chunk of money again, but 20% drawdown on 200,000 euros live account is huge amount of money in the country where I live in. So that's why I'm using the same risk settings that I wanna use when my account will be bigger so that I can get used to it, okay? And that's one of the things that uh, you need to consider doing as well. Not changing the risk settings because yeah, sure, it might be easy to you to suffer the drawdown of 10, 15, 20% on a smaller account, but on a bigger account, it will be really, really hard. Or it could be, it might not be. It's all about you. But let's go to the trade, okay? So X to A, A to B, sorry, I'll have to do it again. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. So as you can see immediately, I got engaged in this on this candle right here. 3rd of April, 2019, six in the morning GMT time zone. And a few hours later, my target one got hit. As because I back tested this strategy, so that I'm trailing my targets when the price action goes against me, uh, my target one got hit at the very same candle, at, but at a lower price, okay? And what happens, what do I need to do when my targets get hit? Uh, I need to trail my stop loss at break even position. 
so that I cannot lose on my second position. And because I front run my entries, my pending orders for two pips, my stop loss will be two pips above the original entry. So that's at 85, around this price point, okay? So what happened with this trade? Now, I'm trading a small account, but let's think that I'm trading a big account, okay? Let's just do the easy math and calculate it how much money would I would be in play if I were to trade 2000 euros account, okay? I'm trading 2000 euros and I'm trading a lot size of uh, 0.03, so it's three micro lots per position. If I were to trade 2000 to 100,000 euros, then I would have a hundred times bigger position size, three lot sizes. But for this purpose, let's go even bigger. Let's say that I'm managing 2 million euros. So that would be 10 times more. 30, 30 standard lots. That means that every pip in the market would, would be valued at 300 euros. 300 euros. A lot of money, if you ask me. So let's see what happened. At this price point here, I was up 20 pips at 300 euros. That is 20. Let's do some math again. This is 20 times 300. I just netted 6,000 euros. Now let's go back to the charts and let's see what happened with the second position. Now the price is going against me for my second position. Boom, goes against me again but I have to stick with my trading plan. So let's see what the third candle will do. Up, still not close. I, it didn't close me yet. Two pips away from my, uh, from my stop loss. And boom, this candle, if you cannot see, I can I zoom in a little bit? Yeah, sure I can. So this candle actually, actually this candle right there touched my break even point and closed me out. Only to evaporate 6,000 worth 6,000 euros worth of profit on a second position only to reverse back and hit my would-be targets too and actually I lost, uh, what is it, 10,000 euros on a second position but I believe in my trading plan. Now, why am I telling you this and sharing this sad story? Well, solely because this sad story is a sad story on this pair, but now let's move to a pound dollar and check out one of the biggest pairs and bi uh, biggest strat biggest trades that <laughs> happened this year for me. Okay, so pound dollar and let's see what am I talking about. Here you can see X to A, A to B, B to C and C to D completion. Okay, so I'm going to move it to the side and let's say, let's pretend that the, this trade did not happen yet. So this is X to A, A to B, B to C and C D right here. I'll zoom in a little bit and let's see candle by candle. Also, I'm trailing my target uh, and trailing my stop loss when the target one gets hit. Let's assume that we are trading and managing some, that we are big traders managing a lot of money. Okay, so what do we have in here? We got triggered around 4 p.m. GMT time zone at 21st of March. And then what did market do? We are up, trail, we are going up, up, up. Boom, we got stopped out for target one, uh, 400 pips, roughly 100 pips. That means that we are up, let's bring our calculator back up. That means that we are up, how much? 100 pips times 330,000 euros on the first target. Now we are trailing our stop loss to break even. So let me bring my stop loss, supposed to be two pips higher. Yeah, roughly two pips higher. And now price action starts going against us for what? 50 pips or so. Let's see what it does it do next. Okay, 50 pips, no, went up 60, 70 pips. To, so it is, how much is this? 21,000 euros in the second position down? Not, not closed out yet, but down. How, what do you think, you know, what is your mind thinking right now? I could have closed it. I should have closed it. I should have closed it. I'm down, right, 21,000 euros. That's a lot of money. 
ah, I should have closed my second position on my target one. But no, let's go back to the charts and see what will happen if you believe in your plan, if you stick to your rules. So what happens? Boom, boom, markets go up, markets go up, market, markets go down so close to my target too, but it goes down against me right now. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, down. Oh, I feel terrible. Uh, I should have closed it when it was like how many pips to my target to 15 pips. Now, now I'm like how much down? Now I'm 69 pips away from my target to oh, oh, down, up, oh, closed. Targets too closed. So right now you made how many pips? Right now you made 800, no, 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 what is it? 186 pips. So you made 186 pips times 300 euros on your second position, you made 55,800 euros by doing what? By just sticking with your trading plan and following your rules. And that's what discipline can give you. So that's what backtesting can give you. This kind of confidence, this kind of a belief in your system. But the only thing you gotta do is, you know, get those reps in the market. And you go, you, you're getting those reps only with the back testing and then forward testing and live trading it. But stick with the same risk management as when you were trading, uh, when you're trading smaller accounts, just as, as if you were trading big accounts, because this is one of the most important things so that you can get used to it. With that being said, I want, of course, I didn't invite you uh, to subscribe to this channel. So click that subscribe button, click the like button, share the video, comment below if you disagree or if you agree with me. I would like to hear your thoughts about this trade, uh, this video and this kind of trading principles. Speak to you soon and thank you very much for staying until the end. Bye bye.